Hey guys, we're going to do page 39 and 40 in math. We're gonna talk about cubes and rectangular prisms. We have already talked about them a little bit. Look at what this little girl has in her hand. She has a present that is, it's got squares on all of its sides, just like this. Look, I've got a square here, a square here, a square here, there's squares all over. So this is not flat, is it? It sticks up, isn't it? Is it flat? It's not flat, it sticks up. Let me show you what I'm talking about by flat. Does this little piece of paper right here, does that stick up? No. no. Did the cube <laughs> stick up? You see how it's 3D, how it st sticks, up, sticks up from? Yeah. That's what we're gonna talk about. So this is a cube. Can you think of something? Do not talk out loud, raise your hand. Can you think of something that is a cube, Addison? A present box, yes. I've got something right down here I can show you. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. Great. What is, I'm going to show Mark so he can see what this is. What is this? A what shape is it? A cube. It is a cube. Look, the other shape we're going to talk about is a rectangular prism. And I'm going to borrow Price's color box. Look at this rectangular prism right here. Is it flat? No. Look, it's got a rectangle here, a rectangle here, rectangle here, rectangle here, a rectangle here, and a rectangle there. Look at that, rectangular prism. Just like his box of juice. Do you see his box of juice? Now, look around the room and do not talk out loud. Raise your hand if you see a rectangular prism in this room. Cruz, what is a rectangular prism? That's board. Yes, are, bo are boards and boards? Oh, no, 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 no. Mary Nelson, what is something that is a rectangular prism? Door. Our door, let me turn it so, let's see here. Our door, yes, because see, it's thick. It's not flat, is it? What is something else that's a rectangular prism, Addie? Um, paper. Well, paper, it's more just a rectangle because it's flat. But if it's stuck up, if you had a bunch of paper in a stack, that could be a rectangular prism. What about, oh, what about this? Could that be a rectangular prism? Because it's rectangles, they're rectangles, and it's not flat. What about, let me find something else. Addy, what about this? Is this a rectangular prism? Yes. No, nat mats are not. So we're gonna <clears throat> we're gonna look at our page right here, and we're gonna be on the row with a ducky. What I want you to get out is one crayon. It does not matter what color is it. What you need, get out one crayon. row with the ducky. What I want you to do on the row with the ducky, if it is a cube, we're going to color it. Look right here. Is this first one a cube? Yeah. Yes. So are you going to color it? Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Yes. Is this a cube? No. no. So are we going to color it? No. no. Is this a cube? Yes. Yes. Yes, it is. Does it matter if the cube is sideways? Can it still be a cube? Yeah. Yes, so color those two cubes right now very quickly. Addie, spot them. I see another cube. We're, not, we're only on the road with the duck. Excuse me, only on the road with the ducky. Connor, have you colored? Addie? Are y'all ready for the road with the clover? I'm sorry, the row with a heart. And let me turn this on. I'm so sorry, Mark. You couldn't see them all. Two. <coughs> so on the row with the heart, what we're going to color now 
we're going to color the rectangular prism. So is this one a rectangular prism? Yeah. No. Is this one a rectangular prism? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to color him. Now remember, you color yours neatly. I don't have a good crayon to color mine neatly. I'm just showing you that's one we're going to color. Color yours neatly. Is this a rectangular prism? Yeah. Hello. I'm so glad Mary Nelson was paying attention. Yes, it is. So you're going to color that one. Color both of those because they're rectangular prisms. James, color your rectangular prisms on the row of the heart. Row of the heart. Where's the heart? There you go. Nope. Right here. Heart. Rectangular prisms. All righty. Let me move this up and then move my coloring up out of the way. The bottom row, the row with the clover. Are y'all ready for that? Yeah. Yes, yes. Yes. On the row with the clover. I would absolutely love it if you colored the cube. Let's look. Is this one a cube? No. 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 Is this one a cube? No. Is this one a cube? Yes. Yeah. Surely is. Let's color that cube. <laughs> showed you two of them they're trying to help you circle the rectangular prisms with your pencil do that for me right now James circle the rectangular prisms on the row of the duck now this one was easy they did it for us the, the tape is a rectangular prism and the present is a rectangular prism Okay, I'm so sorry. Well, let's look at the row of the heart. What's that beginning shape on the row of the heart? Carolyn Grace. What's that shape right there? Carolyn Grace. What? It's a cube. So on this row right here, only the row of the heart, I want you to circle the cubes. Do that for me right now. Sit down, Sam. Is this a cube? Yes. Yeah. It's a Rubik's Cube, so yes, it's a cube. Is this drum a cube? Yeah. No. Is this tissue box a cube? Yeah. Yes. Is this big, a long present a cube? No. no. So let me move this up. Let's get these out of the way. This silly board. Let's look at the bottom row, the row with the clover. Are you ready? What is that shape, Sam, that is on the row with clover? What is that first shape right here that is the row with the clover? Rectangular prism. Is this a rectangular prism? No. Is this a rectangular prism? Yes. It is not. It's an eraser. Is this a rectangular prism? No. no. Is this camera a rectangular prism? Yeah. Yes. I guess.
shapes does not belong. Look, we have this shape and this shape and this shape and this shape. One of them does not belong, and I'm not going to tell you yet which one that is. I want you to put an X on the one that you think does not belong. Do that right now, and then we'll talk about it. Don't look on somebody else's paper. Put an X on the one that you think does not belong, and then cover up your answer. West and Price, don't be looking. Cover up your answer. Just do the X and then cover up your answer. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's see here. Isabella, which one did you pick? The orange rectangle of prison. Okay. Well, let's think about that. Why would that one not belong? Uh oh. Why would that one not belong? Well, oh, maybe not. Did you pick a different one? Um, who picked a different one? What did you pick, Richard? Um, I picked the ball. You picked this one. Richard put an X. Let me get my marker ready. Richard put an X on that one. Why did you put an X on that one, Richard? Because it's not the same shape. Because it's not the same. Look, these all have sides and corners. Does this one have a corner? No. No. Does it have a side? No. Can this one roll? Yes. Can all of those roll? Yes. No. So now you see why that one probably didn't belong. Do you see why they picked that one? Yeah. All right, this is what we're going to do now. We're going to stop for math for just a second. I'm going to pause the video for Richard. Not for Richard, for Mark.